Hi there. We're back again and this time we're going to learn how to make a more complex table and I'm going to do this over the course of several different shorter videos so you can uh, get a better idea of how each component works. Remember any time that you want to you can stop the video and replay the part that you would like to see again. So don't forget to do that when you feel it's necessary. So what we're going to do today is create a table that will reflect the positions of the two presidential candidates on their uh, positions related to taxes. And uh, we're going to create a table that's going to be able to include a picture of each of them as well as their positions on that issue. And we're going to start off by creating a table. And we do that again by selecting from the bar at the top the table tool. And when it comes up it always puts the window in the middle of the screen. So I'm moving it over here so it'll be in the middle of the video screen. And uh, right now it's set to default to three rows by three columns with a table width of 400 pixels. And for right now we're going to accept that as it is um, <clears throat> so that we can go forward. And these can always be modified later and in other videos I'll show you how to do that. When, as I've indicated before, whenever you are doing a table, you should give it a caption. This is for accessibility issues, those who are visually impaired. So I'm going to put in table of presidential positions on taxes, which is what our table is going to be. And um, a, a short summary uh, will be something simple like This table shows what the positions are of the major presidential candidates and since most screen readers can read the contents of the table cells, I don't need to give it any more detail than that for right now. So I click on OK and uh, notice that it created table of presidential positions on taxes in here. Now I can go with that, that's um, OK, but for the purposes of what I'm going to show you today, that's a little bit redundant. So I'm going to take I'm going to take that and actually um, take out table uh, of and just leave it presidential positions on taxes. Okay. So what we want to do is to put in uh, in the two rightmost columns, we're going to enter in what their positions are. And we're going to start off actually, I'm going to show you later on how you can go about putting their photographs in. So we're going to leave this top row available this row here for their photographs. Um, the next two rows are going to have their names. So I'm going to put uh, John McCain in this row and Barack Obama in this row, in this column I mean. And I'm going to indicate what party they're in here. John McCain represents the Republican Party and Barack Obama is a Democrat. The thing I want you to know about tables is that uh, when you get to the bottom line, you can always add another line by pressing the tab key. So when I press tab, it shifts and gives me another line here. And what I'm going to indicate here is what their position is on taxes. And then I will enter in the uh, information that I got from the John McCain for President website. And I'm just going to simply copy and paste it in here. And in this one I'm going to do the same thing for Barack Obama's position on taxes. And click here and I've copied and now I'm pasting it. Uh oh, notice that the text didn't come in quite where I expected it for Obama's positions. It's down some. This frequently happens when you copy things from other web pages. Um, it will not necessarily be, uh, it will carry extra characters in it, which may cause it to be formatted differently. So I'm going to go down now to the property inspector at the bottom, and where it indicates vertical, I'm going to make sure that it goes to the top. So notice that it repositions it to the top. 
Also, the same thing happened with taxes, and I really want it to be at the top as well. So while I'm down here, I'm going to reposition it to the top. Okay, so you've learned a few things here that you can copy and paste from other websites, that occasionally things come in differently than you expect, and you can make adjustments through the property inspector at the bottom.